Hello fellow doll lovers, it's Janie and welcome to another video on my channel. I am so excited to share today's video with you all. I went to a flea market not that long ago and it was my first time I'd ever been there. I wasn't quite sure what to expect. Um, where I used to live in my hometown of Texas, um, they had a flea market there and I had vlogged um, at that one before and it was very, very big and spread out and you kind of could not really get through everything in one day. And it was the only other flea market I'd ever been to. So I wasn't quite sure what to expect when I went to this new one, um, which I discovered um, where I currently live. And I was not really expecting anything big or small. I didn't really have any specific expectations, um, but it was advertised as like a flea market and an antique mall. So I didn't really know what to expect, but I went in and I vlogged it, and if you haven't seen the vlog, it's a lot of fun, um, just a new sort of place to go, and if you haven't seen it, I will link it in the description down below, and also in a card somewhere. But it's a really fun trip. I went to celebrate Valentine's Day, and I came out with a lot of really, really exciting stuff, and I'm actually splitting this haul video into three parts, because this first part, I'm going to show you um, most of the things that I got at the flea market. But then, if you have seen the vlog, which I will explain a little bit later, I walked out with a lot more than I anticipated because one of the sellers decided to supremely bless me and be extremely, extremely generous. Um, so if you are wanting to see what that means, it involves a 13 box vintage 90s Barbies and an entire box of furniture, um, also a bag of regular unboxed um, dolls, and then also uh, two like mesh bags filled with clothes. So that is what is going to be in the parts two and three. But in this first video, I'm going to be showing you all of the things not from that seller that I found. And I'm really, really excited about everything because because um, it was more like a antique mall than a flea market, I would say. It was mostly indoors, and a lot of the stuff that was being sold was antiques, and there was a lot of stuff that was really overpriced. Like, I did see, like, box dolls and vintage dolls, but they were going for um, above my price range. But I did walk out with a lot of really great things, nevertheless, and I definitely think I will be returning there for sure. Um, and it makes me really excited because the thrifting situation um, where I live in Mississippi is uh, not amazing. And um, so I usually I don't really get to thrift or do any sorts of things like that while I'm here. And I normally just do it when I go back to visit my hometown in Texas or um, to visit where my grandmother used to live in Wisconsin. That's where I do most of my thrifting. But here I will be able to visit this flea market and um, I'm going to go ahead and cut to the chase and show you everything that I got, which is quite a variety because it was kind of a combination between a flea market and an antique um, shop. I found a wide variety of things from old dolls to new dolls, boxed, unboxed, great condition, horrible condition, you name it. So I'm going to try and show you all the things that I found in the order um, in which I found them. So the first um, dolls that I ended up walking away with are actually boxed. I found three things from this seller um, and I found these three things and they were all priced at $3 a piece. So the first one, which I got really excited about is one of these Barbie Extra Mini Minis. Um, and I love the Barbie Extra line and I don't have any of the Mini Minis and she was only $3 and I was like, I am not mad at that. It's only three bucks, so I decided to get it. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and unbox that really quickly. It doesn't look like it's gonna be super difficult to unbox, but um, just give me one second and I'm gonna go ahead and take her out. All right, so that did not take very long at all, and she is so, so cute. Okay, she comes with a stand as well, which I really, really love. She comes with a little mini stand, um, and she is just so cute. I love the detail of this doll, even though it's tiny. She has saran hair, and she comes with a little blue gummy bear purse. And her outfit is super cute. She's got like a pink beret and pink hoop earrings. And then she has a two-piece um, top and skirt, a pink jacket that has little striped sleeves, and then also a white pair of boots. So I love how she's so accessorized and that's what her face looks like, um, which is very nice. And for 
not mad about it at all. I think she's very cute. And I'm definitely interested in having more mini minis. I just have never been able to stumble across them. Um, and just never gotten them before. So I'm very excited to add her to my collection. And then for another $3, I got this Barbie Chelsea. Um, it's not one that I'm like over the moon about but she was only three dollars and she was boxed and i do always love finding african-american variants um in dolls and i don't have this one and i love her hair so i'm gonna go ahead and unbox her um should not take very long oh she's already out so she was just just in there and she just popped right out so here she is she is very very cute she is um like i said african-american she has beautiful curly hair i absolutely love the fro and it's held back by a little um, purple elastic and she's wearing a purple butterfly dress that has multicolored butterflies on it with blue trim. And then she has little pink tennis shoes. She is so cute and I'm excited that I got her for only $3, especially box, just because um, I'm really excited about expanding my Chelsea collection and I think she's super cute. So for $6, two little box girls, not bad at all. And then the last thing I got was just this Barbie fashion pack which I don't have, but it's a Jurassic World and it was for $3. And she had other fashion packs there, but I did actually have the other two packs that she had already, I believe. So um, yeah, I'm not gonna take this out and show you because um, if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you know that whenever I get new fashion packs, I save them for um, when I can actually do a little fashion show for you guys and try the outfits on the dolls, just so you can see what they look like, um, if they fit curvy, if they don't fit curvy. Um, just things like that. So I got this outfit, but I will be saving that for um, whenever I'm able to do another fashion show video. But those are the first things I found and I was like, well, this is, if anything, I got these and I didn't think it was going to be a wasted trip. I just really wasn't sure what I was going to find. Um, but as we continued on, this is probably, um, one of the more expensive dolls that I got and I got her way at the beginning. And, um, there were two other dolls from this seller that were, um, they were just kind of vintage uh, 80s and 90s Barbies. Now, this one was $6.99, which was a little expensive. Um, and I was deciding between her and another older Barbie that looked to be from the early 80s. Um, but I bought this one because I cannot remember the name of this doll for the life of me. But I have been wanting her for a while. She has stars in her eyes. And um, I just really, really like this doll. And I have been wanting her for a while. She's not a grail, but I was, I've was i always been interested in having her. And even though she doesn't have her outfit or anything, I was like, she's here, um, might as well. And I also hadn't gotten all of the other things that I uh, I found. And I don't know if I would have gotten her if I would have known all the other things I would have found, but she's with me now and I'm not mad about it. Um, but like I said, I was trying to decide whether getting her and another doll that was a little older. And there was also a Ken from the 70s for $20 there, which is out of my price range. Um, but I think it was Malibu Ken. He didn't have his original outfit or anything, but um, you'll probably see them in the vlog if you go back and watch it. But here she is. Um, she was $6.99, like I said, which is a little pricey, but she does have a swimsuit on, which is this multicolored um, one-shouldered swimsuit. And she's not in bad condition. She does have some really gross like stainage. I think this person might have bought her somewhere, and this is like residue from the price tag that got peeled off, and then dirt kind of got stuck to it. Um, but her hair is not amazing. It's pretty dreaded, as you can see. Um, however, it does feel like it's saran, um, so I'm hoping that it will um, boil wash out to be nice. But besides just being dirty and overall just disheveled, there's nothing wrong with her. She's missing her earrings and her ring, but um, that's okay, and I'm still excited to have her. Um, and then next, okay, I went to a seller that had a ton of dolls that I was interested in. She had new Barbies. She had Hasbro's uh, Disney Descendants dolls that I was really interested in. She had um, some of the like Model Muse Birthstone. She had one of those. She had like a boxed 90s Barbie. She had 90s Barbie. She had even older. She had like that winking Western Barbie from way, way back. Um, she had like new Barbies. She had Barbies from like the 2000s era. So she had a little bit of everything as well as like some bigger dolls and she had a doll house and she had a lot of things, but she was asking insane prices for her dolls. Um, they were individual. They didn't have stuff. There were dolls that were naked that she was asking $15 for and they weren't like rare dolls. It was like, um, like a Barbie extra doll that was completely naked, like find it at Goodwill for $1.99, um, level of like condition. Um, and she would not compromise on her prices at all. Um, I asked her, I 
you know, gathered up all the dolls I was interested in, which was quite a bunch. And I said, hey, would you be willing to work out a deal? And the biggest deal that she would work out was 10% uh, off, which per doll, not for the whole lot, but per doll, which is like a dollar off for each of the dolls, which is like, if I'm paying over a hundred dollars, ten dollars off of that for naked dolls that I would probably find again somewhere else was really not worth it for me. However, she did have two dolls that any person who doesn't really know anything about dolls because she really did not know what she was doing with the pricing. She was like, 1966 Barbie, like $15. I'm like, okay, it's from the 90s just because the like back of the body says 1966 does not mean that they come out in 1966, but um, they were really overpriced. But she had these two Mycene dolls and because she didn't really know what she was doing with the pricing, she didn't know that Mycene dolls are a little bit more uh, justified to be priced high. And she priced these for the cheapest of them all for $6 a piece. And I don't have either of these and I haven't found Mycene dolls out in thrift stores and stuff in a long time. So I snatched these girls up. They were the only two things I got from her, which is a shame because if she would have been willing to, to sort of work with me on prices, I would have walked out with a lot more, but I am super, super excited about these girls. So like I said, they were uh, $6 a piece. They have the prices on them right here. Um, I'm not a big fan of her writing prices in pen and then sticking it on the doll because that can um, like stain onto their plastic. But we have this one. I don't know who she is, but she has brown earrings. She is definitely, you know, just a regular Mycene Barbie. That's her character. Um, but she is great. She has a bracelet and she also has this striped shirt. Her hair is wild, but that is okay. Um, I am really excited to have her. And yeah, $6 is a little pricey per doll. However, they're my scene dolls. I don't find them very often anymore and I'm still very, very excited. So we got her. And then we got this other Mycene Barbie who I absolutely love. She has curly hair, she has real eyelashes, and she's wearing um, Barbie's Sleeping Beauty dress. And she was also $6. Um, so I was very, very excited about that. And um, she's not in the best condition and neither is the dress. Like this is the type of condition her dolls were in and they were like $15 a piece. So, but I got her and her hair is really bad. Uh, as you can see, it's matted and it's in this ponytail, but I'm not mad about it. I'm so excited to add two more Mycene dolls to my collection because it's kind of gotten to the point where I just really haven't been finding them anymore. Um, so unless I specifically search them out on eBay or Facebook Marketplace or something, I wasn't sure if I was gonna be finding many more of these. So I'm very excited to have not one, but two. And then next we have the rest of the dolls I got from the same seller. And it is, uh, we have, let's see, two, four, six dolls that are not in box. And then we have two dolls that were boxed um, here, as you can see. And I asked him how much he would take for all of them. And he said 50. And I was like, that's pretty good. But you never know. So I asked, would you take them all for 40? And he said yes. So I got all of those dolls. Um, I think it's a total of eight dolls, two, four, six. Yeah, eight dolls. Two of them are boxed and they're all dressed for only $40, which I think is a pretty good deal. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, each of them. And it is quite the variety, let me tell you. So the first one is probably the one that is the most interesting and also the most sad. We have an original Star Wars uh, Princess Leia Carrie Fisher doll. Um, I forget uh, who she was made by. Uh, she was made by uh, Kenner. So she was made by Kenner and she has her dress, which is really cool. I personally do not think she is the prettiest doll in the world. She is very old. Her hair is kind of balding, uh, but she was there and I love Star Wars. And also, I don't think I'll find a doll like this every day. Um, however, the saddest thing is that she is broken. I'm going to try and at least just glue her back so that she at least doesn't have a gaping hole. But her bend and snap mechanism did break at the knee, which is quite sad. But I am still really excited to have her. She's not in the best shape, as you can see. Um, her dress is very, very dirty and uh, kind of gross. But she's still such a fun find. And even though she is a little weird looking, um, I'm still very excited to have her and add her to my collection. She's going to be much more, um, much more happy and clean um, with me. Um, but then we got this doll here, which is, I think this might be Matchmaker Milan. I don't know. Um, I could be wrong. But she's wearing her dress and she has her earrings and everything. 
Her hair is not in great shape at all, but um, I'm really excited to have her because um, I do have this doll, I think. I might not, actually. Um, now that I'm looking at her, I may not, but I definitely don't have her dress, so I am very, very excited to have her. And uh, she's very, very exciting, as you can see. And, um, yeah, I am really excited to have her and add her to my collection. Um, I haven't been getting a lot of Disney dolls lately, so excited about her, especially older ones. And then, okay, these two dolls are on the tip of my tongue, but I cannot remember what kind of dolls these are. I got two of them. I don't know if they're the same doll, um, but it looks like they're wearing their actual outfits, which is really great. Um, one is in this really fun red and white striped dress, and she has two white bracelets on. Um, no shoes or anything, but I I really like these dolls. I have one other one who has red hair, and I don't remember what these dolls are called, but they were with the whole lot, and I, you know, was considering just asking about two of the dolls and then the two boxed ones, but um, I was with my boyfriend, and he was like, you might as well just ask how much you'll take for the whole lot, because you never know, um, and a lot of times they'll cut you a deal if you're willing to take the whole thing, so um, I did, and... I got these. I don't know who they are. This one's like in red, like I said, and this one is in um, like a black and pink dress with like flowers on it. And she has a pink and purple bracelet on this side and two pink ones on this side. Um, and they're not in the best shape, but they're actually not in terrible condition. They're just dirty. Their hair actually is really nice. Um, the curls are almost perfectly intact. Um, it is a little disheveled, but they look pretty fabulous, if I do say so myself. And I only have one other one of these, like I said, and she has a red head. So I'm very, very excited to add these two to my collection. But it looks like they've been sitting outside or in someone's basement for a long time. They've got a lot of yuck on them. But I'm very excited to get them and add them to my collection. Um, they also have jointed wrists. Um, so if any of you vintage doll experts can help me identify these, I would be love that. Um, but then the last two out-of-box dolls are the ones that I was the most excited about probably out of um, all of these dolls. And they are two uh, Generation Girl Barbies. I forget their names. I think this one is Chelsea and I think this one might be Laura. I don't quite remember, but I am really, really excited about these two. Um, I actually do have them both already, but they are... Neither of them have any of their stuff at all. Um, and so I am super, super excited. And I think I might actually have a different Chelsea because there were different waves of Generation Girls. Like there's the dance party one and then there's the regular one. Um, but they have their outfits and um, I'm so incredibly excited. So Chelsea here, her hair is really bad, um, unfortunately. However, it looks like it'll be fine. It's got stuff stuck in it, like straw and dirt. But it looks like it just has never been brushed, so it looks like it might come out to be just fine. But she has her purse, which it feels like it has something in it. I'm a little scared because this, I didn't check to see what was in here. I hope it's nothing gross. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's just a phone. Okay, so she has a little telephone in her purse, um, which is really cute, and I love that she has that. And she also has her guitar, which actually still has its strings doesn't sound very good. They actually had different pitches, which is interesting. But she has her guitar, and she has her dress with the shirt that goes underneath it. She has her necklace, which is silver. She has her earrings. And she has her boots, which are epic. They're black with yellow laces. And she also has her socks. And she has a bracelet and a ring. And I am just so excited because I love Generation Girl Barbies and I have a few, but none of them are very complete at all. So I'm super, super excited. And then we have this girl who doesn't have um, extra accessories like a purse or a guitar, but she does have her necklace and she has her top. She has her arm warmers. I don't know what you'd call them, but she, and then she has a bracelet and two green bracelets on this side. She has her skirt, which is long and green and pink and floral and then she has her shoes and if this doesn't look like a 2000s Barbie I don't know what does um, but she is awesome and she even has her braids still and her hair is in much nicer shape it looks like these dolls weren't really played with much because they have everything they just weren't taking care of it all um, but I'm really really excited to have these two girls amazing and then we have two box dolls so we have this BMR 1959 Barbie and I only have two um, of these 
and I don't have this girl. And so when I saw her, I was like, I wouldn't go out of my way to get her if she wasn't um, super cheap, but because she was part of the lot um, with eight dolls and she was boxed and the other one was boxed for 40 bucks, I was like, sure, I'll take her. And I think she's really, really cool and I'm really excited to have been able to get her. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and free her from her box without further ado and I'm really excited to have her. And I'm kind of sad that she is being sold when she's so new, still in box, but I'm happy to have her. So I'm gonna go ahead and take her out. Okay, so here she is. She is so fun and colorful. I think she's great. Um, she kind of reminds me, and do not take this the wrong way, she kind of reminds me of a circus clown with like the super curly kind of fro and the super stripy pants and the colorful top, um, which I'm not saying it is a bad thing, but she is so much fun. I love her uh, minimal makeup and her thick brows. I think she's gorgeous. Um, and her hair is absolutely beautiful and it's curly and she has a green hat and a very, very colorful top that's blue, um, red, and yellow, and it's got really long sleeves that are gathered together by this BMR 1959 ribbon. The ribbon also goes down the front, kind of like suspenders, and goes into these high-waisted, multicolored striped shorts. And then she has these really interesting um, sock boots. So this just looks like a sock with a piece of plastic on the bottom, but it has the BMR um, 1959 logo on it and then she has the made to move body so she's got all of the articulation which is so exciting and now she is my third bmr 1959 barbie and i haven't gotten one probably in like three years or so because i got the two together tuesday morning before it closed rest in peace tuesday morning heartbreaking absolutely heartbreaking but um i haven't gotten another one since um just because i've never had the opportunity so i'm really excited to get her and she has so much fun and she is quite new compared to all of my other girls that I got, um, with the exception of the Chelsea and the extra mini mini. But then I got this 2000s Holiday Teresa, and now I officially have, I believe, all three variants of this doll, which is so exciting. So the first one I got was um, the African American variant, and then not that long ago I was given the blonde variant, and now I have this one, and this is the, the Teresa one and she's absolutely stunning and i am so incredibly excited that um i'm able to have her and add her to my collection and she is in the box but i'm really excited to free her from it so without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and take her out okay so here she is she is out and free finally she is so beautiful i love the burgundy makeup and lipstick with her hair and skin and dress she's absolutely stunning uh, her hair has dry rotted unfortunately so i'm going to have to um redo her hair but that's okay um i think she's gorgeous absolutely love her her tiara is there and it's actual metal which is so cool and she's got her necklace and she's got of course the big beautiful classic gold and silver sparkly dress which has shed sparkles and glitter all over me of course um, but she's absolutely stunning. I'm so excited to have her. Her dress is so beautiful. It's got um, little snowflakes sewn onto it. And it has so many layers of beautiful uh, full skirt. And she has gold earrings and a gold ring. And she also came with all of her things. So she came with her little ornament, which says 2000 on it. She came with her stand. And she came with her... Uh, brush and also her shoes which I'm going to go ahead and slide on her right now so they don't get lost but those are the things that I found um, outside from the uh, seller that I bought from that I'm going to show you in the next video but even if I didn't get any of the other stuff that I'm about to show you I would be perfectly happy with this haul I found a lot of great things I found boxed Barbies I found my scene dolls I found new dolls old dolls weird dolls like the Star Wars doll my scene dolls I'm so excited but um yeah i would call that thrift uh not a thrift trip it's a flea market trip but i would call that a uh, flea market trip a success for sure but um i hope you guys enjoyed it if you're able to identify any of the dolls that i had trouble with down in the comments below or if you just have anything to say in general i love to read your comments and um it just makes me feel like i'm actually talking with the people who watch my videos so please feel free to comment and um if you enjoyed the video, please like it and uh, subscribe to my channel so that I can keep making videos for you guys and stay tuned for parts two and three because uh, they're going to be a doozy and I am so incredibly excited to share all of the uh, 
share the story and just all the stuff that I got with you all. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.